I do tend to write pretty off lofty language there. Okay, um, to try to ma not make this video too long, I'm going to just go over the outline to the 17 chapters for the epic marriage letter. And then I'm really just going to touch upon the other two. Um, and I'm going to come back and do four really more extensive videos on this. Like, I'm probably going to read the entire marriage letter out. But, you know, because I have video format, I can make it more exciting. Um, so, here, here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, oh, how do I get on screen? So, there it is. So, boom, boom, boom. Oh. Uh huh. Respect. I'm just gonna go over all this and then, um, oh, that's not even all of it. Um, boom, boom, boom. So I think I got it all on there. Okay. So. Whew. I s estimated I spent several hundred hours writing this letter. Because I, I thought that if we could just communicate more clearly and, you know, whatever my issues were, she would work them out with me. And that's not how this letter ended up. She did not receive it well. Um, but I meant very well. And it is an epic letter, which is why I'm going to publish it. I will probably remove personal um, details. But, okay, so... Uh, Chapter one is reasons for divorce. So I was already outlining, outlining logically and rationally the reasons to end my marriage with Shayla. And I opened with the letter that way because I thought she would, you know, e immediately, you know, oppose even the concept of suggesting divorce. Ye. Chapter two, disagreements. And this is a chapter about reasons that are not reasons for divorce. Chapter three is how to raise the children. And honestly, that was one of our biggest disagreements and caused some of the most conflict because I wanted to uh, parent differently. And uh, she had all control and power and I couldn't do things my way. And that really explains my lack of self-confidence right now. And so I'm gaming it back. So chapter four is confidence loss. I say I'm ashamed, fearful, distressed, low self-esteem. Now, these are all symptoms of, I guess, my particular case of PTSD. So these aren't completely her fault, but I did hope that she would validate me and she did not. Chapter five is trust loss. Even at this time, I boldly said there is no trust between us. I thought that would be something she would fiercely object to, but she did not. <sighs> Chapter six is respect loss. And marriage respect is important in marriage, obviously. And she did not respect me. Chapter seven is how you make me feel. And I said short answer, awful, bad person. That's just... I must have said to, said to her 10,000 times, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. Jesus. <sighs> Chapter 8, moving forward. The future. Yours, mine's, and theirs. Chapter 9, boundaries. See, now this is where I actually made a lot of really, like the first part was a bit, um, well, boo-hoo, pity, party me. But the rest of it is, very constructive and um, boundaries defined. I defined in writing, clear as day, what I'm comfortable with and how I want to be treated. And obviously, I mean, she 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 never sat down and read the letter with me. Uh, she never validated any of the letter. She I, I don't even know if she read it. She probably just read it quickly and was just so offended by it. But. I'm going to do a full video on each chapter, probably. Chapter 10 is I may, I clear as day write what I need and what I want. Of course, I ended up 
kind of concluding that I was in an abusive marriage because, I mean, not only did I have my own set of mental illness and mental health problems, but, you know, I was just living in this constant chaos. And I said, I need an agreeable partner. I need deep, honest connection. I need unconditional grace. I need her to give me unconditional grace for my issues and sensitivity towards my struggles, which... Um, I mean, classic narcissistic abuse. I mean, she insulted me, put me down, um, constantly kept me like on eggshells and worried. And it took me years to recognize it and get out of it. Hey, man, <sighs> chapter 11 is uh, this is where it gets really optimistic, I would say. I, I wrote many many reasons to say to stay in the marriage i because you know i love her and i love god and i'm loyal to the end and now obviously something majorly went wrong here oh and then i have a lot of direct quotes text messaging i have a whole attachment section of the text messages she was brutal Whew. And, um, you know, I, I've kind of put it out of my mind and I can't really recall the depths of some of the insults right now, but I have been extremely diligent with, um, record keeping. So <sighs> chapter 12 is hot on the cookies and this business was our baby. Like, I, I mean, I took huge risks and I invested years and years of my life. Like I lived in some dude's basement for several months while I was going to school, making full-time income. I could have paid for an apartment, but I was paying for, you know, a cookie shop that wasn't making money. <sighs> Chapter 13 is uh, leadership traits. And this is a nice little um, depth that I wove into the entire letter. Uh, there's a checklist in the Marine Corps of 14 leadership traits. Uh, JJ did tie buckle and those are 14 different leadership traits you know for example like justice and judgment and you know diligence and um, so I wove all 14 of these leadership traits into each chapter and oh my God, the copy I gave her was extremely thoughtful I mean it was color coded it was you know, all these leadership traits were, like, in the midst of mentioning all this other stuff, I, I took the time to build myself up a little bit. Chapter 14 is the text message screenshot. Chapter 15 is the family genogram, which... Whew. So I'm a trained mental health counselor, and a genogram is when you draw out, like, the relationships between people and their families, and you start to notice patterns. Um, so we'll be going over that. Chapter 16 is updates and notes and other testimonials, emails, and the video evidence. The video evidence I collected for years. Terrified to ever watch it, but I collected it. And I did finally go through it all and use it in the uh, narcissistic abuse documentary. It's really narcissistic abuse awareness. And then chapter 17 is the conclusion. So this video is getting a bit long. So I'm going to just summarize the, 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 